click that. Click that link. It's a vlog. It's a video blog. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I haven't made a video on this channel in a while. Oh, I've been focusing on my new vlog called the Scarred Vlog, and I'll put a link to that in the description. But uh, anyways, in this video, uh, this is for all of you online gamers like me. Uh, if if you ever gamed online, like on Halo or uh, Call of Duty, you might get this message that says your NAT type is not open. And I'm sure you've looked at that and said, "Well, thanks, Bill Gates." Now, what does that mean? I have no idea what that means, uh, but I know how to change it to where it is open. Now, this is a small change. It's not, you know, it's not a huge thing. It won't make your Xbox a lot better, but uh, it makes it makes your connection a lot quicker. Uh, makes your Xbox Live or PlayStation Network a lot faster, and you have a lot less lag, a lot less, uh, you know, connection losses, and it'll make, you know, it'll just make your gaming life a lot easier. Now, what you're going to do, by the way, I, think, I don't know if I already said this or not, but this is only for Belkin uh, routers, uh, and it doesn't matter which router, it just has to be a Belkin brand name router. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to go to your internet browser and go in to the address bar and enter this number right here. It's 192.168.2.1 and that's for any Belkin router. Now, uh, you're going to have to log in before you do anything, so you might as well do that. Now, logging in, I think, I'm pretty sure the password is just if your Wi-Fi has security on it, you know, like, uh, let's see, this person does right here, has a little lock, I think, lock right there. Uh, if your Wi-Fi if your Wi-Fi has a password on it, I think that's what it is. Um, I'm not sure though. But uh, if your Wi-Fi doesn't have a password and you can't think of any, like you know, online Belkin password you you have or anything, just leave it blank and hit submit. Let's see, I'm already logged in. Okay. Now what you want to do is go down. Like you're going to see the start page. You're going to go down over on the side under firewall. Go down to virtual servers. I'm already right there. And what you're going to do, you're going to need to type in these these uh, numbers and letters and junk in this order. And the, for the description, uh, it's always going to be Xbox. You can put Xbox Live, but I, th but I tried to do that, but it just put Xbox for me. I don't know. Anyways, description, Xbox. It probably didn't have to be that, but whatever. Uh, inbound port going down. It's going to be 88, 80. 30, 74, 53. And this might look different depending on your type of Belkin router. Um, some people might have two boxes under the inbound port. Uh, that's fine, just put the same number in each box. You know, 88 and 88, 80 and 80. You know. Okay, for the types, get it on this order. It has to match up with a number. 88 will be UDP, 80 will be TCP. Uh, 3074 will be TCP and UDP and 53 will be TCP and UDP also and uh, if I don't know why but I entered it in a different order I think it was 3074, 88, 80, 53 um, but it changed it up for me I don't know why and also these numbers going down will be the same in the private port section again it might look different depending on your router but just make sure they match up with the same numbers. Now for the private IP address, um, I only know how to do this on Xbox, so sorry PlayStation 3 users. Uh, you're going to go in to network settings, um, click like hit your network, select like hit A when it highlights your network that you're on, and uh, then you're going to go to configure network, and then it pops up a window as a bunch of different uh, information on it. The thing that's highlighted already, or should be highlighted, um, it has the IP address in it. It's going to say IP address, then go across, and it's going to start off with this 192.168.2, and then it's going to have its unique uh, ending number. For mine, it's 5, and it has to be 5 all the way down. Yours might be 3, 7, whatever. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you enter the correct ending number for each one. Okay, when you've done that, hit enable for each one. And then you're going to hit apply changes. 
and then it's going to be you know start applying the changes and making sure everything's all right. That should take about eh, ten seconds, and then you should be all good. If not, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, also, for the private IP address, if you're using an Ethernet connection and it's connected into your Belkin Wi-Fi router, then make sure uh, make sure like whenever you ch if you ever have to change the uh, uh, little connection wire, if you ever have to ch ever have to change which port it's it's plugged into on the router, then make sure you go back into your Xbox and uh, uh, look at the new uh, ending number because it has to match up with the ending number. And uh, that should be it. Uh, your, your NAT type should be open. Yeah, your, I guess, connection speed should be a lot faster. Uh, I turned mine on a while ago, right after I did it, and it was amazingly faster. Um, and you should not get that message anymore. And uh, life should be all right. So uh, yeah, that's the end of my of this video. Um, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll put a link to my vlog in the description and I'll see you guys later.